everybody. This time around, the question is, is self-care selfish? Sometimes it's hard to know where the line is. I mean, I need some time for myself. I feel tired. I need a little bit of love, a little bit of attention, and I'm giving to a lot of people, taking care of a lot of people, and I know that there's good things about taking care of other people, but where's the line, right? Let me start off by saying you can't give something that you don't have, you know? You can't give love if you don't leave room for you to be loved. You can't give money if you don't have any money. You can't give anything, finite or infinite, unless you open yourself up to it. Ideally, we want to be a channel for the flow of something bigger, like love or inspiration or truth or beauty, and even something that seems kind of mundane, like sometimes it's good to pick up the tab, right? You can't give something you don't have. And so on a very fundamental level, self-care is the opposite of selfish because I'm charging up the battery so that I can fuel other things in my life, so that I can take care of other people. I accept my good so that I can have it go through me. The key word there is channel. I want to be a channel of something bigger and have it go out. Prosperity gets messed up. If I cut off my relationship to the source of things, if I don't let any good in. But prosperity also gets messed up if I assume that I'm the destination of everything good and it just stops with me. And so we have to have the whole thing. You can't give something you don't have. And so make time to accept your good in whatever way makes sense to you. Okay, that's the big basic idea. But I'll turn it around and ask you the question. Is your self-care selfish? In other words, for you to feel like you're getting loved, you're getting fueled up, do you feel like you got to take it away from somebody else? In order for you to feel loved and accepted and good and validated and all of those things, do you feel like you've got to shut off somebody else's good? That's a problem. Because we live in an infinite universe where there is more than enough for everybody. It's true on a physical level. It's true on a cosmic level. It's true on a spiritual level. It's true on every level. The only limitations, and I need everybody to hear this, the only limitations in life are the ones we put there. Let me put that another way. Life is not a zero-sum game. In other words, for you to succeed, it does not mean that somebody else has to fail. So look at what you call self-care. Look at it, what that takes for you, what it looks like for you, the whole thing. If for you to accept your good, it means somebody else has to do without. What you're dealing with there is a very limited idea of what good is and where it comes from in the whole thing. And you're going to have to deal with the consequences of that reduced vision. Nobody else has to suffer for you to have a Calgon take me away moment of me time. It's time to grow up. It's time to find a way for you to be loved that doesn't shut that off for anybody else. It's time to see something bigger. So no, self-care isn't selfish as long as you don't use it selfishly. I want to challenge you this week to find some ways to care for people, to love people, to show appreciation, to inspire other people. Find ways to give that charge up your battery because here's the deal. At the end of the day, it's something I end up saying a lot. God does not get tired. You're a child of God. And so if your life makes you tired, if you're living the kind of life that you've got to take vacations from, then maybe you need to fix something about the way you look at your life, about the way you live your life. God doesn't get tired. So if you get tired, if your life makes you tired, maybe you're given from the wrong place. Maybe it's an ego thing or a force of will thing. You think you've got to do it by the sweat of your brow and all of that. But the truth is, the universe is really good at this at living and loving and thriving in infinity. The universe is really good at it. And you're part of that universe. Maybe it's time for you to find a way to give that doesn't wear you out. And in so doing, you will find your batteries charged up too. No self-care isn't selfish. But if you feel selfish, if you feel tired, if something makes you feel sick, hurt, afraid, worn out, you need to look at how you're doing it. Because I promise there is a better way to make a world that works for everybody.
So thank you for asking the question. Thank you for working on this. Please keep up the good work. Please keep sending in those questions. You can do that by tweeting or Instagramming with the hashtag AskDieter. Let me know what's going on for you and what you want to know. Take, take out my uh, new book, Meaning Fulfilled. It's available on Amazon. Go look for my name on Amazon or go to waypastok.com, my website, to find out more about the book because it'll change things for you. But most of all, take a minute and like and subscribe and share this video. It means a lot. You got this.